Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about recording and the different things you can do with that, uh, whether it be recording regular memories or cues, uh, recording different cue lists, or, or recording chases. And we're going to get into a little bit of the options you can do with that and really maximizing those, uh, those options. So over here on your Titan program, you can see when I press my record button, on, on my Titan console, whatever that may be. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of things pop up here. The main things we're going to be concerned about today are, are these three right here and uh, what all what all you can do with them. So you can see we have we can create a memory, we can create a chase, we can create a cue list. And with any of these, you can see if I if I go through, I can type in whatever I want here and it'll name it. So we're just going to name this one random memory and I'm just going to record it here you can see there's no information saved to it there's nothing we haven't done anything with it there wasn't anything in the programmer when we recorded our memory so it's just a blank queue and uh, you can do a few different things with just that if you want to you can set it you can go into your playback mode and you can set it to mode 3 and you can have it be a crossfade into into just a blank nothing if you really want that uh, a few tip a few people have tipped me on that and I don't really use it I, I would just rather fade everything out but that's that's an option for you if you want to do that we're gonna exit out and we're just gonna delete that Similarly, if you record anything, you can see we've got we've got some masters we've made in other videos for uh, for our Maverick MK Pixuses from Chave. You can see I've recorded some intensity to them and the, and a and a beam option there, uh, doing some different things. And that's that's kind of the other way that you use memories. You can, if I'm if I do a whole bunch of stuff on we'll say the Mavericks, get, close my cells. Say if I turn my intensity up there uh, turn that intensity up and I just put it to a random position and a random color for each we'll say we'll say those two if I do all of that and I press record you can see create memory comes up and if I throw that there if I don't press if I don't press anything else and just press record it'll record all the information happening at that moment so if I had any gobos saved if I had any beam positions saved that kind of thing it would record that there so if you don't want that which we wouldn't in this case there's a couple of different options you can have for that you can open it back up and we've shown this in another video but you can press view queue there and you can go through and turn off whatever options you don't want I'm just gonna go through and select some and press off and you can see all of those attributes have now been turned off for this queue and it's taken a few a few of our highlighted letters out which means that it's uh, it's taken all that information out of that queue the other way to do that we're going to delete that queue and we're going to clear back out of our programmer if I wanted it to do something similar to that again we'll bring our dimmer up bring that dimmer up go to another random position and select some other colors blue and green then we press record you can go through you can see on this set mask one way you can do is you can go through and exclude the attributes you don't want you can also the easier way for me if we get all that back again blue green random position dimmers up 
if we bring all that up and we press record you can also just go through and on your first click of record here you can click what attributes you actually do want to include in this memory you can say I just want I've just messed with these three so I'm gonna go through and click intensity position and color and record them to any random place we'll say our same little place we had earlier and you can see all the information is still there because we haven't cleared out yet so if we clear out and I'm gonna go ahead and mess with our pixels a little more just make it do something a little different just something just something random you can see when I whenever I bring this queue up just let me find it here nope it'll be that one whenever I bring that queue up because I still have information in the programmer that's not gonna do anything at the moment because I've I put information in the programmer But if we clear out of that and bring our pixels back up we'll go to position just just so you can really see what it does we'll go back in and we'll bring up that queue and you can see that it goes back to the position we were in our dimmers are back at full and our co colors are back at blue and green so that's a few different things you can do with that we're going to delete this queue again just because this is going to kind of be kind of what we mess with so if I want to if I want to make a, a set number of cues that I want to go through but I want them to go through kind of automatically I'm gonna create a chase and I'm gonna have to click somewhere random for this chase to go but you'll see it'll do something a little bit different when we when we do the, when we do that you can see now we've got this little mode up here we can see and all this is going to do is it just it works like a chase so if I go through I'm just going to give myself something simple I'm going to bring all this up I'm just going to bring the dimmers up for now and we're going to append a step there you can bring in some shapes and effects to this if you wanted to do it that way if you wanted to set a if you wanted to get a circle going, if you wanted to do a pixel mapping effect or anything like that for one of your chases you could do that, chase steps you could do that you can uh, change the step number if you want this to be step 3 and you want, you want it to be on down the line, you want to work towards that you can do that. Right now we're going to go back to step 1 and we're just going to append the step so now you can see we're on step two and I'm just gonna bring both of these dimmers back down we're gonna pin the step again and bring them back up and back down again once you're done with that you'll just clear out and you can see we've got a connected chase down here now I'm gonna have to do something with these guys to get them back to zero that should do it So now we bring our chase up and you can see that it's fading quickly kinda of through it you can change that crossfade with your encoders down here your little wheels to where it fades fades a little more quickly you can change the speed of it on the fly with your wheels to where it's going through a little slower or faster whatever you choose and you should be able to as well go back to a certain speed I think we can do that it did not that's okay so we'll get into something else for now we'll go into and we'll create a queue list. The queue list is similar. All you'll do, you'll have this you'll have this kind of come up in the same way, the same little vein. You have uh you have you can change your queue number, you can change you can name whichever queue you want it to be and you can bring shapes and effects in again, all kind of the same along the same line. You have some advanced option here, 
where you can auto load some stuff that's all also going on at the same time if you want to do that you can set your different queue numbers that kind of thing and you have that same little set mask where you can include what you want to include and exclude what you don't want to include and we'll reopen that so all this is is similar to the uh, chase functions you can bring whatever you want in there and you can name it in the same vein just some different things there and let's see we've got four different cues there We'll, we'll end with that. So for both of these, a cool thing you can do with them is if you press our unfold button on our console, you can open it up and you can see what cues are doing what. If you click on them, you can see that they're they're changing around in there. We'll have to go over here to, to really see what's changing. You can see I took my dimmer down to zero for the second queue on both those attributes. I took it back up to 100 for the last one. Same if you press unfold again, it'll close that back up. If you press unfold on your chase, it'll do a similar thing where you'll see I've got all of this information for my first step in my chase. You can see it's still recording information. and But you can see what's changing, and you can do that. You can, in both of these, you can record a step. So if I wanted to set something up in the middle, say I wanted it to change color in the middle of that randomly, go to green, we can record a step, and it'll ask you where you want to record a step and you can record a step in any of these and you can see that if you press one of them it gives you a couple of different options you can cancel which is just canceling what you've done uh, you can click on another you can press replace and what I've done I've, I've pressed replace now and now Q3 is both I believe a change to to bring the dimmer back up and a color change you can see there now as I've clicked on Q3 it's done that. If you press record step you can also yeah if you click on another one you can merge it which will also take whatever information you have going on and just add on something else if you've done that or you can insert it which is what we'll do and you can see that it will insert right before Q4 and right in between Q3. It's a, it's a similar thing with insert step. You can insert a step in there and you can see that it went right before Q3. You can move these around if you need to by just pressing our move button. So say I wanted Q2.9 to actually be before Q2 instead of before Q3. I'll just press move, press that again and you can see if I press Q1 it'll move to in between Q1 and 2. All of this works the same way for chases as well. You can go back in and you can I guess this is our chase so all of this works the same way for Q lists as well. Get back in out of unfold unfold our Q list. You can see if I change something here change it to sign in yellow. I can record a step and press somewhere and if the same options come up insert a step same thing happens. Press Q2 it goes before Q, uh, Q2. You can move it to after whatever Q you want it to move after that kind of thing. So that's a little bit about those. We're gonna unfold back out of that and uh, I think that's a little bit it about our, our record modes. Again, you can you have 
three different record options there for things you can create. Uh, you have your set mask, which gives you what you can include and exclude from the memory or chase or queue list. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to really worry about at this point. But uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day and call us if you need anything.